Dear viewers, welcome back to the analysis of Yoleno TV. Today I'd like us to go straight into something that is ha that happened yesterday. And we know that uh, the Kenya Kwanza government, when it came into place, it promised that it will deal with graft diligently. But the recent turn of events are something that is portraying something contrary to what they promised the Kenyan citizens. Last week, we saw Amos Kimunya's case brought back after Amos Kimunya's case was previously dropped. We also saw Ferdinand Waititu's case dropped, which is something that was shocking to many Kenyans. But that is not our focus of concern. Our focus of concern is on Aisha Jumwa's case. You know very well that Aisha Jumwa is, is a nominee for Public Service and Gender Affirmative Action Cabinet Secretary. She is the nominee. And we know very well that Kalazo Msioka vowed, vowed that his team will not support the nomination of Aisha Jumwa because of a graft case. So what we saw yesterday from the DPP's office left Azimio and Kenya Lands members in shock. And in fact, most Kenyans were in shock because why would DPP decide to drop Aisha Juma's case at the time when the 15-member committee were already formed in preparation to go through the nominees of William Samoy Ruto's cabinet secretary team? So this to us was something that was pre-planned and that because that was the only reason that Aisha Jumwa would not sell through because of the chapter 6 requirements, the DPP decided to drop this case. Mind you, Aisha Jumwa was accused with six others and the graft was a 19 million graft and eight others were co-accused co with, with her. You know? So the people who were co-accused with Aisha Jumwa were Wachu Omar, Kennedy Otieno, Bernard Riba, Sophia Saidi, Margaret Kalume, Robert Katana, and multi sub contractors. And the accusations were between 2018, between November 2018. So you find that this is very strange. Aisha Juma case gets dropped. The eight others are still in court. But that's what we saw as a twi twist of events. We also saw last week, like I was saying, that Ferdinand Oetitu's case was dropped. A 588 million case was dropped with five others also. And that was, again, a county case. And then we also saw Amos Kimunya back to court because of a 60 million graft. We also saw John Waluke get his 67 years jail term approved by the Court of Appeal. My dear John Waluki was previously in UDA and then they come to the DEP that is affiliated to the Azimion Kenya Alliance. UDA is within the Kenya Alliance. So we found that most of these cases which are being dropped are for allies of the UDA or allies of Kenya Kwanza Alliance. This is what we find very strange. And I think the culture of impunity is bring, being exercised this time round with this government. So when Ruto came into power, he promised that he will deal with the graft cases. But what we are seeing is something that is contrary to what he promised. So are we foreseeing a scenario of those pastors of preaching water and drinking wine? If Aisha Juma's case was to be dropped, why is it timely? Why is it that the case is being dropped at a time when the least of nominees are supposed to be, you know, vetted by the 15-member committee which have been formed. The 15-member committee are the 15 MPs that are supposed to vet these nominees. Why is it being done now? Why could it be left for another date so that the courts, so that the, 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 the committee would first of all vet these people? And why was this uh, dropping of the cases done like, you know, seven months, three months ago? 
So we find this is very strange. And I think DPP, I don't know, but most people are beginning to think that maybe DPP is going to bed with the Kenya Kwanzaa government. Would that be the case? Because we find so many other institutions are going to bed with the Kenya Kwanzaa government. We know that the judiciary has done exactly that. We know that the parliament is doing exactly that. So I think the office of the director of public prosecution could be doing exactly that. Could be, they could be embracing the culture of impunity. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think about that move from the DPP yesterday? Can you share what you think so that we can also go through them? And I promise to give you a response on the same. And going forward, what do you think will happen to the DPP office? Are we going to see, you know, the, the, are we going to see like, you know, the Asmion Kenya lands leaders getting, you know, charged unfairly and the Kenya Kwanzaa lands, you know, uh, 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 MPs or leaders getting, you know, acquitted over graft cases like what we've seen with Ferdinand Waititu, like what, we, what we've seen with Aisha Juma, that's the latest uh, happening. Is that going to be the, 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 the trend going forward? Please share what you think about that below the comment section there and we will share with others and I promise to give my responses to the same. And please, may you Stay safe and stay blessed until we meet again for another analysis.